Hi guys, Empress G here. Anyway, you know, I like to just do a little video and I'm cooking anything. So right now, you know, I love soup to the dead. So today I just decided to do some split pea soup um, with um with just some a few pieces of oxtail in it. So it's bit, and all I'm putting in it, folks, um, because I don't like a lot of stuff or no dumpling or anything going in it. Um, Irish potato. Chocho, some turnip, which you must have to have turnip in your soup, some carrots, and basically that's it. And right now, folks, it's bubbling. Um, the peas and um, the um, oxtail has finished cook, and you know, my soup has a pumpkin. And so, this is you know, I just when I get I want to know while I feel like you know, eating some oxtail, and it's very small, kind of small. And the split peas is already done cooked. So, and I like a lot of pumpkin in my soup, so you see how rich it is. So right now, I'm just going to put in, um, because if I do soup, I have to have turnip in it, folks. Otherwise, to me, it's not soup. So, right now, so I, like I said, I'm just going to put a few stuff in it. Um, some turnip, um, a moss, and a chocho, and I guess chocho for other places called Christophine. Because I have to always have to, because you know, people in Barbados and um, Grenada and all the other islands, they call it by Christophine. Um, so we know it as Chocho. Because that's how we, we see it in the store and we go buy it anyway, Chocho. So, this is it. So, split pea soup is always so good and you could use, sometimes I just do it without any meat, you know, just a split pea and like a um, ital thing. And I know some people like to put their um, pig tail or whatever to do it um, in it. So this is it. So I just feel like putting in a few pieces of um, and the oxtail, folks. All you do with the oxtail, you wash it off pretty good with um, lime. I scald it off first to get off the excess fat. And you know, it wasn't a fat one, but any kind of meat I do, I always scald them off first. And um, and then I just wash it. You are just washing the meat with some lime. Or lemon whichever one you have and um, I season it up before I put it in my pot when I'm doing my soup I have to season up the meat um, yeah, that's the way I grew up and see my grandmother do it season up um, meat and even sometimes when she's doing chicken soup she brown the chicken first after she seasoned it up and then and it gives the soup a awesome taste yeah so this is basically it. and I love soup folks I could drink soup every day I'm a soup person and I love all the soups red peas gunga peas Split peas. Lentil is a very good soup for you to also. Yeah, lentil is filled with a lot of um, iron and, um, and vitamin and all of that. And this sweet potato is so good for you too. So I'm just going to cut up my um, turnip and I don't really cut them up very too small. Put them in. And this is the thing. Even meat, in some meat, you cook and you put some turnip. It gives it a wonderful flavor folks you know so I'm just gonna put in the turnip and and the um the split pea is all mashed out so the soup is very thick and nice and um and the pumpkin in it you know because my soup have to have pumpkin in it folks I can't um you know look at soup and have it white 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 I have to have some pumpkin in it. I'm just gonna boil the kettle up because if in case I need a little bit more water it's good to just get your boiling water to hatch you that's the best way to cook folks when you need more water in your pot just make sure your kettle is going because um, if you use cold water it's gonna take a little bit more time to um to start up again so I'm just gonna boil up my kettle and um, just in case I need some more water and in this folks, I may put um, you know, a green banana. I love banana in uh, green banana and everything. So we'll see how it goes. So right now, I'm just cut up my turnip and um, carrots. And as I say, folks, I just you know try to cook my soup. And I said, why don't I just turn the camera on? And folks, um, it's not hard to do. And anybody who don't know what split peas look like, I'll show you in a minute. It's, it's part of the lentil um, beans, you know. And you have to be careful when you buy um, split peas because some of them are very whole and they're tough. They, you know, they can't cook. They, you, you, we pressure them to the death and they can't cook. So when you go to the store, always read your package and see 
the date on them because um, some of them may have them in there for a while and when you take them on they're tough because so what I do um, like I'm doing the oxtail what I did I put the oxtail on ahead to cook a bit um, when it almost you know then I had my um, split pea because remember the oxtail is a lot tougher to cook right but these weren't too bad because these were it was like a very small one so that's what you do you cooking anything uh, any meat tough with um, your peas or whatever I always give the, the, um, the meat especially uh, oxtail as a head start you know and once you spoil off that oxtail and get rid of all the fat off of it folks um, you know that's starting the cooking process right there and then you just wash it and season it up And, oh, I just put a few pieces of yellow yam in there too because yellow yam, folks, is so good for you. So good for you. Yellow yam, even in China, I was watching something on YouTube where they are, only we don't know the stuff that we have, how good it is. They're doing a lot of, um, like, um, testing yellow yam. And yellow yam, I didn't realize that yellow yam can be so good for so many things. And especially if you're diabetic for yellow yam. Because there's an enzyme in it that the starch in the yellow yam it works it doesn't stay in your body so to build up as um break down as um you know into um sugar so this is why yellow yam is a, is is so good for you and um you know one day i'm just gonna do a um, do a thing just on yellow yam green banana and yellow yam folks those are two of the best um food to eat and you can have that every day those are very good for you. Now, as the starch that is in yellow yam is called a resource starch, just like in the green banana. Yeah, that starch doesn't sit in your body; it works. Yeah. And so, if you're a diabetic, it's it's very good. So I'm putting one seed of green banana in it. I love I love my green banana. So I have one Irish potato here also and I have one sweet potato. I'm just gonna cut them up. Because um, like I said, I'm not in food, not a lot of food in it. Okay, so cut up I just one Irish. I'll just cut it up. And oh, I have to put the ch my chocho in. I chocho I, I like to leave for last because um, I like my chocho to be very cr um, not cooked so soft. You know, um, I like to actually eat my chocho. chocho crunchy. I know a lot of people might think, oh yeah, that's why I like to have my chocho very crunchy and nice, barely cooked. So I always put it in almost last. So my green banana, I'm just going to cut up like this, cut it up small, and just add it to the soup. I'll bring that back up. So I just have my chocho left to put in, and then all my onions and some fresh thyme and, uh, and green pepper. And basically what I do with my um, stuff, I don't use... In this kind of soup, folk, you wouldn't need no noodle or anything like that because the the um the split pea uh, make the soup so thick and nice and um you know you might just have, probably add a vegetable cube once you taste it and um but honestly, folks, and, and normally too, what is nice in um split pea soup is salt beef. If you're not a poor person, salt you put salt beef in it. But for people who like pork, they can put um can do it with pig sale. You know, so there you go. And like I said, I don't, I'm not, I heat dumpling once in a while, and but I, I don't really cook it in my soup. And so that's it. Once in a while when I feel like it, folks, I'll, um, you know, make a couple like with some um, cassava or banana or a little caramel in it. But I don't really make one, I don't really pull around it in you know, much of any in my soup I just like my soup that way without all that dumpling that um yeah so I'm just gonna put my um chocho in right now okay 
okay and i think after that i'm just gonna let it bubble down i'm adding everything i'm gonna add the um scallion some thyme and a little piece of onion onion give it a lot of flavor too folks um not just green onion so i'm gonna add in my scallion right now and then i'll get some all spice and my pepper and i just put a few pieces of onion in it that gives it um extra flavor you know okay not a lot and i'm just gonna lower the heat all right now i need my oz i'm gonna put a little bit of oregano a little bit of basil and rosemary i have fresh one but i'm not gonna put it in it because that, that fresh rosemary when you put it in soup and stuff those start that off and it could be very dangerous if one get loose in your in your throat so i just use some dry one i'm gonna put a few all spice a pimento we know it by pumas and a couple cloves about four or so cloves and like I say, I'm just gonna taste for salt and see, um, because as I say, you can put salt in, but you can't take it out. And nothing is more bad when you're cooking it with something nice and you ruin it with salt. So this is split pea soup I'm doing with oxtail. And folks, this week, for the past couple of weeks, oxtail has been so cheap from ten dollars a pound to six something. So, um, you know, like I said, I don't use a lot, a lot, a lot of meat, but um, oxtail is one of the things that I like for beef, and that's why I go with beef because I'm not a really beef person. But oxtail is one of the things I like, and it's so expensive. So, what I do, I just go and get a couple and put in my fridge. And, um, most time I just put most time is when anybody coming by for dinner or stuff like that so today now I just put a few decided to cook a few pieces with my um peas yeah that's my soup right there folks and I'm just gonna let it bubble down taste for salt because I don't want a lot of salt mm -hmm. could, use, could use a little bit but um, I'm going to let it just cook down first I'm going to put a piece of butter in it for flavor and what I do also folks I add a little of my extra virgin coconut oil to it yeah I hope everybody is doing well the weather is beautiful it's still summer and the sun you know it cools down like a bit but it's not cold and if you're out there in the sunshine it's hot and nice still right now it's um 5 30 folks and the sun is shining so bright in the sky uh, awesome so it is a beautiful day so folks try and then go out and enjoy it okay one last thing i have to put in i like to put some of my cilantro that have so much flavor folks so I'm just gonna put a few pieces in and um wow I do not like mess I'm gonna put a few pieces of cilantro and a little bit of cracked pepper, fresh black pepper, and then as they say, just let it simmer. 
Вот тут. I'm just gonna cut up a few pieces of cilantro in it and I did put some dried pars parsley in there already with um along with um a little basil and some rosemary and that's your soup right there so folks please like here and subscribe to the channel appreciate it and leave me a comment I you know I get a few comments from people all very positive and um I have to big up Ivelyn I think it's Ivelyn and um every time I read her comment I she put a smile on my face I'm um, Ivelyn in um, New York and what Ivelyn said she loved my cooking but you need to show your face. Uh, so I said to her, my pictures in the thumb on the thumbnail and on, the, on YouTube. Um, but one of these days, I believe. One of these days. But I believe when you look on the thumbnail, that's exactly what I look like. Yeah, that exactly uh, Empress G right there. Okay, so this is just gonna bubble and I'm just gonna put a vegetable cube in it and you see look at that folks that is my pumpkin that is my pumpkin right there I cannot look at a soup that um, is white look at that beautiful so everything is there and it's just simmering down and I'm just gonna put a little bit of cracked black pepper and officially that will be it yeah that's good fresh black pepper nothing um be in your soup in anything you cook with fresh pepper is anybody ground up in this soup folks you don't know what they going up in it so I have to buy let's do most of my most of my herbs buy them fresh and dry them and um if you have a dehydrator you put them in if not you just put them in the oven on a very low heat and they dry and then you just grind them in a if you have a coffee grinder or you could do it in a magic bullet and that's it <laughs> like I said I like to do stuff as much stuff for myself as possible I always do always do so I'm just gonna put a cube in and that will be it and as you just let it simmer so I have a vegetable cube so I'm just gonna what I normally do I like to melt it down before I put it in the pot in there because when you put it in there sometimes even when you finish cook you're finding pieces of it that's not totally so, so what I do, I just take some water from there and um, just melt it down. And this is a vegetable cube I'm using. I love to use a vegetable cube. So I'm just gonna. So it, it will. Be, um, what happens is that it dissolves um, very fast in um, warm water or any warm liquid. Liquid. So I'm just gonna melt it right down right now and then put it back in there and then just put it in. When you do it this way, folks, then you know it's totally dissolved. Um, so you're not going to find pieces of it stick to your, um, your yam or anything. So this is the um, vegetable I'm just putting in. And I'm going to let it go for everything cooks down at about and give it a, a 10 to 15 minutes. And everything will be ready. So folks, um... 15 minutes will be, will be right back we should be done by then okay hi guys so the soup is ready and bubbling smelling and tasting good so this is split pea soup here folks with oxtail 
I just turned the heat off. So, oh, somebody asked me uh, the, uh, what a split pea look like. Okay, let me show you. For the folks who don't know. So folks, I normally keep mine when I buy it in a bottle, um, take it out of the plastic. And this is what it looks like. See, it's a yellow piece. You have a lentil, which is a close family to it. That's what split, split pea look like. It is split, it's half in half, and but it's a small. But when you get the right one, folks, not the whole one, it's beautiful. And it has, you know, it have a lot of iron in it, a lot of iron. So if you are a person, especially anemic or stuff like that, all you do when you boil the soup, you just put some celery, some carrots, you don't have to put anything else with the split pea and that bring your iron level up. It's good. So that's split pea there. It's a very good um it has in lots of vitamins and minerals. It has in magnesium, potassium. It's good for you. And as I say, it's a, a lot of iron also in it, folate. Yeah. So if you are um low in iron, you just well, the split pea um, with no meat or anything, with some celery, a few carrots, and say turnip and chocho, and that's it. And you have it like that, it's awesome. You know, you know that helps to bring your iron um, back. And if that doesn't do it, then you need um, to take supplements or eat your spinach and all of that. So, folks, I don't know. I just love this set, this soup piece. I love anything with color. So this is what I'm going to, you know, just pour the soup in. And we're not going to, like I said, it's a soup that I didn't put a lot of food in. Just a piece of yellow yam and um, some Irish and some sweet potato. Um, chocho, turnip, celery. Um, that's basically all you need in is split pea. I know a lot of people love their, you know, their dumpling and all of that in it. Um, but this soup is just straight up, um, this is how you do split peas. And with a few pieces of, um, not a lot, a few pieces of, um, if you like meat in it, you could put whatever meat you like. But I just put a few pieces of oxtail. I haven't eaten that in a while. And I just thought I just put some in the soup. You know, and because basically, folks, what you really need in a soup is just the water, you know, the, the broth. That's where all the flavor, because everything is boiled down, folks. That's where it's all at, you know, so. And you know what, um, in my culture, soup is a big thing, even in the morning. In Jamaica, you can go early some restaurant and you get your soup, the soup um, finished and you can have your soup for breakfast. Yeah, I think Asian culture like Chinese is like that too. They eat the soup, um, the noodle soup or whatever during, yeah. So this is it. So soup is a very big um, part of um, Jamaican culture. You know, um, any kind of soup, any kind of soup. Um, there's something about soup where we just, it's just so, um, just so Jamaican, folks. So basically, that is split pea soup right there. And yeah, you got a nice bowl of that, folks. And um, you're good. Lots. It is so nice, so beautiful. And it doesn't take a lot of um, work, depending on what, because like I said, it's the, um, the oxtail, I put it at the time to give it, uh, to let it cook a bit, then I had the pea in. If you do, if you do it, I know people do it with a culture or whatever. So if you're doing it and you decide to do it with meat, and the meat is a tough meat, they, 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 you know, let the meat start cooking at a time, and then you can go and have your um, the, the split piece because a split piece is not a tough piece. It's so like I said. So if you get one and it's tough, then you know <laughs> it's not good. And that's the pepper right on top there. So folks, please like, share, and subscribe. And I like, I didn't plan on doing a video on it. This is why I didn't show you from the beginning. But it's very um, easy to do, folks. You soak your split pea from overnight. And you don't have to put any baking soda or anything. Because what you do is just soak it after you get rid of some of the, um, the star. I think it has starch in it. Um, you know, so you soak it off overnight. And that's it. And you know what? What your vegetable you choose to do with it. Um, basically, that, basically, that's it. So folks, um, I'm always putting the camera away from the 
So that's the split piece of soup right there, folks. Let me just move the pot out of the way. So oxtail split pea soup um, with a lot of vegetable in it. Um, show it your carrots, turnip, um, celery, a sweet potato, Irish potato, and a piece of yellow yam. It doesn't get any better than that on this, folks. A nice bowl of split pea soup, okay? So, folks, um, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and big up everybody. And have yourself a good evening, okay? Peace.